Amazon is one of the largest companies in the entire universe. And in 2022 alone, they're doing over $500 billion in revenue. And that's growing year after year very, very quickly. They, in 2021, they did over $33 billion, billion with a B, in profits. Yet, they paid almost no, or in many years, absolutely no taxes. Now, how is that possible? Well, here is the answer. Hey guys, Jack Bosch here and welcome to the number one source of real estate and financial information on YouTube. We are on a mission to create a thousand millionaires in the next couple of years. We want you to be one of them. So today we're going to talk about how Amazon pays zero taxes. Let's dive into business 101. Any business out there doesn't pay taxes on revenue, but only on profits. Now, how do you calculate profits? Your profits are the revenue minus any other expenses that you can write off uh, legally based on the United States IRS tax code. Amazon has its own fleet of, of trucks, office buildings, FedEx shipping, UPS shipping, management, travel expenses, gas bills, their website, the cost of the development, the cost of the servers, literally over 1.5 million employees. All of that has to be subtracted. So you get my point, there's a lot of expenses. But then there is a few extra things that a company like Amazon gets to write off that really take them and to the point that they actually don't have to pay taxes. So for example, Amazon owns real estate. Now in real estate, as I covered in other videos already, there are some rules that allow you to write off certain pieces of those buildings, of those warehouses, of those office buildings and so on, much faster. So even though, let's say, they might have bought a $20 million warehouse, there's probably something like two or three million dollars worth of stuff in there that they can write off the day they buy that warehouse. So right there, they get extra depreciation. Now another thing comes in is the vehicles. There's a rule that basically says that if a vehicle that you use in your business weighs more than 6,000 pounds, which by the way, doesn't have to be a big delivery truck, could be a Porsche Cayenne, could be a Mercedes GL, those vehicles, if they are used for business, can be written off all of them, all the purchase costs in one year. So Amazon buys those vans. Let's say one of these vans costs 100 grand. Guess what? Every one of those is a, is a $100,000 write-off in that tax year. Now, even though they're gonna use those vans for three, four years before they're worn out, right, because they're driving a lot, they still get the tax benefit the year they buy them. How many vans do you think Amazon owns? Thousands thousands of them. Let's say if it's 10,000 vans that they own around the country, 10,000 times 100,000 is how much? That's $1 billion. But there's an even bigger one, and that's called R&D, research and development. When you have a company, and your company spends a ton of money on research and development, or any money they spend on research and development, that money on research and development, you can write off the taxes right away the same year that you spent that money on. Now, why is that? Very simply because the government basically wants to incentivize to do more research and development. So let's say you have a company, and that company, let's say, is a $10 million company, makes a million dollars worth of uh, profit. Now, but in, on top of it, you spend, you invested in some big equipment, in some lab, lab equipment, and that lab costs you $1 million, right? But you're paying it over time, but it's worth $1 million. Guess what? You can take the value of that lab and write it off against taxes in that year, instead of having a million dollars in income and paying $400,000 in taxes, you actually report a zero income and you have pay no taxes. So by allowing them to do that, the government actually allows companies to report a lower taxes, have more money in their pocket, and in the hopes that they're gonna take that more money that they have in the pocket and roll that even into more research and development. So ultimately that as a country, we move forward technology-wise faster and faster and faster, and we don't fall behind. Every country does that, by the way, and it's a good thing. So now with that said, does Amazon do R&D? Well, yeah, they do tons of research and development. All that stuff costs hundreds of millions of dollars. And if you add all of this up together, it actually becomes so much that Amazon can write off that they report almost no income. Now, I know as a result, they get a lot of hate for that. It's like, how come that Amazon makes all this money but doesn't pay its fair share of taxes? You know what? 
Don't blame Amazon for using what the government put together to incentivize companies to be successful in this world. Amazon is an American company. It employs American people. It generates a, a huge amount of business in this world, a huge amount of employment, and a huge amount of economic impact. Why? Partly because Mr. Bezos had a great vision, but also partly because the United States offers incentives for companies like that. And by the way, companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, but also brick and mortar companies like GM and uh, Ford doing the exact same thing. Do you think it's easy to take these cars and go, to, go uh, electric with those cars? It required huge amounts of laboratories. It required huge amounts of testing equipment, huge amounts of software. It's said that it takes sometimes up to $1 billion to develop a new car. One billion dollars, how crazy is that? Now do you think every company out there can just invest a billion dollars? No, right? So the government helps out by allowing them to take that billion dollars, write it off against their income, and as a result, they often save hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes. So with that said, should companies pay taxes? Well, within the limit of the law, yes, of course, but are they allowed to use the law to its full capacity? Absolutely yes, and you are too, by the way. The difference is you might not do it, you might not have the ability to do all those things, but at the same time, you too can use tax strategies to actually lower your taxes left and right. You just don't know what they are. But keep following me, subscribe right here, share this with your friends, because we're gonna come up with videos also on how you too can save a whole bunch of taxes legally in the United States and keep more of the hard-earned money that you're making.